Well, just some incredible rainfall amounts from a very slow-moving nor'easter that's continuing to bring not only rain, but also getting some reports now of some wet snow mixing in in some of our northeastern communities. These are live pictures right now at Perkins Avenue in Cranston, where uh, water levels around the Patuxent River have now set a new record, nearly six feet above flood stage, and that's causing a lot of problems for folks and businesses around the river, where they're expecting to see flooding now, not just for today, and even after the rain shuts off tonight. River flooding may continue into the middle of the week, possibly Wednesday in spots. And this is uh, actually video in from Patuxet, the Blackstone River, sent in by uh, Nick Corrales of the river water levels there rising. Minor flooding along the Blackstone River uh, continuing for today as well. So thank you to Nick for sending that picture. And this is a live picture from Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar right now, where we are seeing bands of moderate to at times heavy rainfall in this area of yellow and orange, where it looks like like uh, just torrential downpours. Actually getting reports in here of some wet snowflakes mixing in in Woonsocket especially and just north into uh, Franklin and along 95 up towards Foxborough. And this is sometimes what the radar imagery will look like when you get some of those big wet flakes mixing in. And so that's just a sign of some of the colder air draining in on the uh, northern side of this storm. So some wet flakes, especially north and west of 295 possible uh, through the afternoon and evening. I'm not expecting any accumulations in terms of snow fall, but uh, the rain will continue to accumulate as much as an inch or two of additional rainfall before the day is done. So there's river water levels at the Patuxent River, the new record. The old one was set back almost 28 years ago, 14 and a half feet. We're now at about 14.7 feet so far and still climbing as we continue to see uh, these water levels. Again, about 5.88 feet above flood stage. That's a record height. Major flooding is expected to continue through the daytime tomorrow. So even as the sun comes out and things start to dry up, we have a lot of draining into these major tributaries occurring. So the Blackstone River right now, minor flooding about a, just over a foot above flood stage, and it may be Wednesday before we drop below flood stage at even the Blackstone River. Weather spotters, Jim in North Smithfield, check out some of these uh, rainfall totals. Three and a half inches for Jim and 39 degrees. Brad in Cumberland, more than four and a quarter inches of rain so far. And Kelly in Westport, one of the higher amounts, almost five and a half inches of rain and 42 degrees. Uh, we've got this picture in from the Toxic Village. Gretchen seeing those water levels very high around the Patuxent River once again. And then uh, you can see from River Island Park at the Blackstone River where the water is up the staircase now there and uh, slowly rising and pretty much holding steady at the Blackstone. Live City Cam, gray, damp, dreary, not just chilly temperatures, but also this gusty north-northeasterly wind with gusts this afternoon as high as 40 to 45 miles per hour at times. Now, our area of low pressure responsible for bringing all the rainfall still sitting south of our area, and it's only going to slowly drift away. As it does later today and tonight, it will start to weaken, and so we're already seeing the back edge of the rainfall starting to move out of northern New England, but it's going to take all through the daytime today and through much of tonight before the storm pulls far enough away that will dry out. And then for Tuesday, clearing skies early, we get back to sunshine and pleasant conditions. But it's still a ways to go here through the daytime today. And at 2 o'clock this afternoon, uh, the future cast here doing a nice job showing where that very heavy rain and some snowflakes mixing in starts to shift south over Rhode Island and Bristol County, Massachusetts through the rest of this evening and tonight. So some more heavy rain to get through. And then at 1130 at night, you can see this pink area. That's where the snow is mixing in. It'll start to wind down maybe uh, by 5 o'clock in the morning, drying things out, and then the clouds will clear out behind it. By noon, we should be back to sunshine tomorrow. So this afternoon at 1 o'clock, 41 degrees. 4 o'clock this evening, down to 40. Uh, 7 o'clock, down to 39. Periods of rain and drizzle and the occasional snowflake mixing in. Same deal tonight. Midnight, it's still raining. Drizzle and mist lingering at 2 o'clock in the morning. And then cloudy skies, which should be drier by 5 tomorrow morning. Tuesday, any lingering clouds at 8 o'clock in the morning gives way to sunshine. Noontime at 50, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we're back to 53 degrees. And check out later in the week, a stretch of days well up into the 50s to near 60 for highs. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we don't have another chance of rain until late in the weekend. So we get through today. It takes a couple days for the river and water levels to start falling, mm -hmm. but then we're smooth sailing. All right, Michelle, thanks.